Today I'll be doing a quick tutorial showing you how to transfer your current Verizon wireless contacts to any iDevice. All Verizon wireless phones have the app pre-installed on them except the smartphones. The smartphones you have to go to the app store and install it, but for non-smartphones it should be there under contacts and settings. Uh, somewhere in your phone you'll be able to find it, but I'll be showing you the iDevice uh, version today. So, first of all, you're going to want to go to App Store, and you're going to go to Verizon Backup Assistant. It's Backup Assistant by Verizon Wireless IT, and it's under Productivity. After downloading and installing it to your iDevice, you're going to want to select Open. Uh, excuse me. Open. Uh, the previous steps before this are just prompting you to enter your current phone number, and it's going to shoot you a text with the code, and you're going to enter the code. If you do not have texting, it's going to send you a call, I believe and the call is just going to read the number to you and you write it down with pencil and paper or pen and uh, once you get the code you're just going to want to enter it in there so I'm going to enter my code real quick so I've entered my code in and it's just connecting here since I've previously uploaded my contacts it's already on there but it's sending here Okay sending my contacts and it's seeing which ones I need that have been pre-uploaded so I have five new contacts that need to be synced and it's gonna synchronize your contacts here and uh, if this is your first time using it, it's gonna upload and it's just gonna store them so then you can transfer to any phone so I'm just downloading contacts since I've already uploaded them on another iDevice so now you can just select how often you would like to receive a reminder uh, to syn synchronize your uh, address book and I'm just gonna do once a month that seems fine so and then I'm gonna go to next and it says congratulations total of 281 contacts have been transferred so now you're complete and you have your contacts transferred or uploaded and then on your secondary device you're just gonna complete the same steps or whatever any device works for it really any Verizon phone and uh, once you're done you've synchronized your contacts to any iDevice you have. So thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe.